what's good my case squad welcome back to another reaction video if you are new here hit that subscribe button for daily videos so i put on a poll on my channel and everyone voted for this video to be uploaded today so shout out to all of you guys for requesting this video this is what it's like to be a girl group in the music industry so if you guys love little mix give this video a thumbs up and let's go oh i love that they're holding hands do you feel like boy groups or male groups face different pressures to to female groups yeah, but I do think there's the same thing with girl bands and boy bands. There's a stigma yeah. of like it's like a guilty pleasure to like a girl band or a boy band, which I find really weird. Uh, but that's the only thing I think we. They all look yeah. really good, yeah. by the way. Like when a, sorry, when a but if a boy band successful, then yeah, and also yeah. when they play instruments, I feel like yeah. they're meant to seem yeah. a bit cooler. Like five yeah, sauce yeah, yeah, rocky, yeah. yeah. and people have this kind of thing against pop music. Yeah, yeah. But I, I do think it's harder for women. Oh, no, it's so much yeah, harder. Yeah. Yeah. We get a lot more judgment in the boy band. Yeah. Yeah. For like how we look, how we dress. Look at Jade. The big topic of conversation has been Little Mix. And they, they come in for a bit of stick with people saying, what? you know, it's a family show, youngsters are watching. Mel C from the Spice Girls, she said, your clothing isn't okay. And there is a double standard, I think, too. Mm, yeah. you, like some sort of misconception that you can't have this message of, female empowerment oh, yeah. mm. and also dress in a, in a you yeah. know, sexy way. Well, this yeah. is another thing, like, we'll come out in leotards and get absolutely ripped for it, but, yeah, I've seen so many other artists, solo artists, coming out in a leotard and nothing gets said about them. Mm. Right, it's weird, weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Like Nicki Minaj, Cardi B. Like Jason Derulo takes his top off. Love him. He'll rip his top off and everyone goes wild. Yeah. Like, it's just yeah. double standards for women. Yeah. Back to the touch music video for a second. Why is there so much criticism over it? I mean, people are calling you guys raunchy. There's like Photoshop oh, rumors now. You know what? Everyone always has something to say. Like, literally, we could be dressed up in a cardigan <laughs> and some big baggy trousers and literally have no skin on the show. We'd still get criticized. They'd be yeah. like, oh, why yeah. are they showing any skin? Or we, we just can't win. And I think that's just one of the things with being in a girl group. Why do they have to be naked, little mix? If you're the biggest female pop band in the world and you deliberately strip naked and put rude words on yourself, you're you are inviting the entire world. You are campaign. inviting the world to comment no. and to potentially oh, criticize. Well, they are saying that the world already comments and criticizes. Well, we know that. Let's focus on the fact that they have put all these insults on their bodies because that's part of the problem, isn't yeah. it? On their naked airbrush bodies, which have now got attention for them all around the world. When you did your song Strip and you did the film clip for that, you face this extra pressure, I think, to, you know, what you were trying to do, as I understand it, was kind of expose those messages mm. of hate that you receive. Mm. In the end, I think that the, perhaps the message was confused and that made you quite, quite well, angry, is that right? Yeah, one person. It. Yeah, right, yeah. One, one person tried to confuse it. In that strip picture, if there was four guys posing with those words, they wouldn't have got any oh, criticism. Oh, absolutely not. Mm. So it's just like, that's a double standard. Women are very mm. sexualised, I think. Yeah. I love the color of that. That pink is so pretty. Dads up and down the country awkwardly fumbling for a scatter cushion right now. Well, what we need to argue is who are the dumbest ass. We don't argue, and no one bloody believes us. <laughs> no, there's got to be something. I swear to you, right, Amy, you've known us how long now? Um, Amy, what they fight over? Come on, do some dirty. No, they don't. No, not they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. 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 No, you know what, right, since we've been on this tour, all I've seen is article after article about how we're going to split up, about how we hate each other, how we're arguing. Genuinely, in the six years I've been in Little Mix, we have never had an argument. We always get asked, are you really friends? Do you guys really get on? Yes, we do. Yeah, you can tell. One question that really, really gets on my boobs is when people go to me or us 
uh, do you write your own music? Because we say it a million times, but yet people still never believe us. During interviews, what's the one question you wished someone would have asked you but never did? Maybe more like about your music and... Uh, hmm? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like about writing and how in-depth our songs are. Yeah. Mm. Which, you know, I feel like people still don't know me why. That's true. Very true. So the people who are like, oh, you have to like Fifth Harmony or Little Mix, yeah. right? Yeah. What do you say to those people? Because it's kind of annoying, isn't it? Yeah. It's very annoying. Oh, There's plenty of room for girl bands in this industry. Exactly. <laughs> there is. And many boy bands there are, like. Yeah. And we're different from Fifth Harmony as well. Like, you can like two different bands. Like, it's yeah. not, yeah. not one like, against the other. Yeah. Yeah. You can't like Rihanna and you can't like Beyonce. Yeah, exactly. Except two exactly. small exactly. female artists. That's just yeah. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. When we was on the show um, on X Factor, oh, I love her, we yeah. were told oh, girl the bands pod. they don't do well, like they just don't, and we were nearly not going to get through. It's like the producers didn't want to put us through because they were just saying like, what's the point? They're not gonna, they're not gonna do like achieve anything. They're not gonna do well. They're Aww. a girl band. But um, Talisa actually like stood up for us, and I mean we proved them wrong, right? We, we won the bloody show. At the time we didn't really think too much into it, but now we're like, gosh, that was really bad, yeah. like can't just put all women in a box like that. Like, who's to say we weren't going to win? Like, who's to say we weren't going to do well? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ooh. Have you guys seen a change in the way that you are treated as women in the music industry as well as a result of Me Too? Yeah. <laughs> but like to think so, I think there's still a long yes, way to go. Yeah. I think sometimes, um, sometimes these big powerful people in the industry still struggle to understand that we're four very strong, opinionated women who have yeah. a voice. and. We, we're in control of our careers, and mm -hmm. I think it takes a while for some people to realise that. Yeah, for sure. Friendship. People criticise us for everything we do, but we're not doing it for those people, we're doing it for the people who need it. Mm. So if we're inspiring people and making people feel more confident about themselves, and it's kind of resonating with just one person or two people, then we've done our job, so that's why we're doing it. We're not doing it for the people who are like, oh, why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? Yeah. Okay, guys, so that was my reaction to what it's like being in a girl group in the music industry. So, honestly, I don't feel like people should even judge them on what they wear. Like, people forget that they're grown-ass women. Like, they're allowed to dress like this, you know what I mean? Like, just because they promote empowerment and, you know they have a younger audience doesn't mean that they can't still be who they are you know what i mean like their audience loves them because of who they are so they should be able to be free and open and do what they want to do without judgment of others so who cares what people think so comment down below let me know what you guys think about little mix and the way they dress do you guys think it's slutty also make sure you guys are sending me links down below to the videos you guys want to see next and make sure you guys are hashtagging k squad and notification gang hashtag noti gang so you get notified every time i post and i'll shout you out in my next video so i love you my k squad and i'll talk to you guys later bye